In this video, I'm going to show you how to scrap an aluminum car radiator. This is a uh, typical radiator design of today. You have an aluminum core, plastic side tanks, and inside the side tanks are coolers. This particular one has an oil cooler on this side and a transmission cooler on that side. So, in order to get this apart, I'm going to have to crack these fingers off. Get off these uh, side tanks again to bend the fingers. I just use a pry bar. Pry bar like so. And you simply just stick the pry bar underneath it. And you pull up. And you pull up. Do that to every single one. Like so. On both sides. Be careful because it will slip out now and then. A little more tighter than others. And do that until you have both sides apart. You can get the tank apart. I'll show you after I'm all done with this. I have a lot of problems to do. I'll remember that you also have some on the corners which you have to pry up too. Don't forget those. One side is done, on to the other side. Again, I didn't even mention that the reasoning behind this is that you for a clean aluminum than when you would if it has a plastic side tank so get a couple more bucks which is always good okay I uh, got all these prongs out now as you see the side tank is able to remove now and I believe so it looks like it's a I'm not sure what this is it could be a plastic or it could be a um, could be a uh, brass piece. We'll see when we take that apart. Just to take it apart with these, uh, remove these little uh, whatever nuts right here. You can get that cooler out. But all you see is a little rubber seal that holds the whole side tank. The radiator core. There's the radiator core. Have some pieces of stuff in here. RTV. Interesting. And it's pretty clogged with junk, so that's not good. Look at that piece of paper towel. Wow. Okay, now we have to do this side. Same deal. Again. Right, I learned a trick. When you pry up on it, give it one pry, and you gotta kind of stick it in a little bit more so it won't jump. And that's not quite working now. Side was a little more smooth. One again. Pretty exciting, right? Alright, you get the idea. I'll show you when it's all apart. Okay, I got the other tank out, and there's a lot of junk in here. Look at the sludge. Yeah. Anyhow, anywho, um, I didn't have to bend back one side of this thing. There's uh, tank flex enough, see? It's really cheap stuff, so that was awesome. So let me show you what these coolers are all about. You can get these nuts off with a big socket, or like I like to use this uh, regular adjustable wrench. You can uh, back these off. Another good tip was, uh, I forgot to tell you, you should really crack these loose when the radiator is still together. So now I'm going to have to fight with this small piece over here, but whatever. I messed up. Okay, I got both of those steel retaining nuts off. Now, we have the cooler, which is very cool. I think this might be brass. If not, it's aluminum. I have to clean it up. I can't even see the color. One I had in the past was brass. It has some weight to it, so that's always good. And we get our second cooler out. This is an oil cooler. doesn't even look like much of one. Look at that. That's pretty strange. It's just a cylinder. Wow. It's hollow. Anywho, those are coolers. We're going to try to identify what they are in a second. So, it's plastic. It has no use. Steel. You can put it in your steel pile. Piece of rubber. No good. So, it goes in the trash. We keep that. And we keep the core. Bad news in this model. Transmission cooler is steel. 
the oil cooler. It appears to be some sort of aluminum. Yeah, I would assume it's aluminum or it's brass. I'm not sure. It's so dirty. I'm going to have to clean it up and see what color it is. But that's it. Hope it helps someone when you scrap a radiator.